Hello, I'm PDYX. And I'm Ant Keeps Gaming, and welcome to Playing It Wrong, the show where we play random online Nintendo games and talk about them. That's right, each episode we're going to take one random NES game and one random SNES game from the games available on the NSO service on the Nintendo Switch, and we're going to play them for at least 30 minutes each and talk about our opinions of those games. Playing It Wrong, Episode 7. All right, here we are on Episode 7 where we played Vice Project Doom for our NES game <laughs> and Donkey Kong Country for our SNES game. And I'm sorry, just before we start, I'm sorry I laugh. It's just because, like, you know when you laugh, you, when I laugh especially, you know it's going to go wrong. <laughs> it was a bad experience. <laughs> if there's, when I say the name and you laugh, yeah, bad experience. Yeah, they already know. It's pre-warning. <laughs> Before we get into our NES game, which we usually start with first, uh, what do you what do you think about this week together? The combination of games, big picture. Um, it's it's a it's a difficult one, really. Yeah. This, this week because it's it's like there's some parts that were hard and some parts that were enjoyable. So it's kind of like a bit of a fifty fifty sort of uh, you know with, with these games like. You know, it's fifty percent good, which is bad, and both. It's like <laughs> good parts and good parts and bad parts in both games. That's that's fair. Um, I th- also it's just another week where, and there's a lot of these in the library of these games, but two action platformer type games again. Just to let you guys know, I was very rusty. I haven't played a platformer in oh, I can't even think of the last time I played a platformer. <laughs> <laughs> but um it's been been a while and uh i've been playing like shooting games and um like smash would you say smash yeah. is a platformer fighting game <laughs> would you say that yeah i guess it has the platforming <laughs> aspect to it but it's not the main part of it yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um yeah so i've com- completely out of my realm with this so fair enough let's talk about the nes game then vice project doom not a game that Many people are familiar with, I bet, right? This is kind of a lesser known game. Had you ever heard of this one or anything about it? Being the Sega lad, no. (laughs) (laughs) Being Sega lad. (laughs) You know, you bring up Sega. I read read about the game after, um, and I read that apparently they were going to make a Sega version of this, but it got canceled. Oh, really? Um, Yeah. So this game is, I don't know, it's... It's a late NES game, which I think is part of the reason it's lesser known. Came out in 1991, so I think at that point the, the Super Nintendo was already out or around the same time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think this is true of a lot of of the games that came out on the NES late. Like the graphics are pretty good for an NES game. Mm. I don't know if you, especially the cutscene graphics or whatever you want to call them, the little. Yeah, I think there was a lot of like cutscenes with it. Yeah, um, which I, you know, uh, well, I was quite, quite shocked about. I was like, "Am I playing a game, or am I just playing a narrative game <laughs> of some sort?" <laughs> I think, I think this game is actually all right. Like, you know, for an NES game for the time, like, I don't know that I recommend anybody rush out and play it. It's not innovative and it's not like amazing, but it's like it came at a time I think when people had kind of figured out how to make these kind of games and make them look and run well on the nes you know so i guess just briefly it's like you're like it's kind of a strange story (laughs) it's a strange beginning (laughs) yeah it's it's it was weird you're like a detective and there's like an alien uh, like an alien substance that you're hunting down where it came from and you go to like generically South America, <laughs> right? Did you get that far? I, the thing is, though, like I'm not quite sure. It's one of these games with the cutscenes. You don't know if they're auto cutscenes, so there's a certain time limit on them, and then they go to the next one, or you have to press A. And some points I was pressing A to skip them, so I don't know how much story I missed <laughs> with it. So well, I was thinking, it's yeah, weird. It didn't quite all add up. Uh, just reading like the plot summary on Wikipedia, it's like apparently there's some company that's actually a front operated by aliens <laughs> who are like trying to put this like addictive drug. So like, there's like sort of a 
anti-drug message going on (laughs) and then you're like researching this corporation and your partner disappears and a lot of this went over my head when i was playing it because it's like like you said it it wasn't like communicated very well and also you're kind of like all right (laughs) old nes game let me just try playing you (laughs) i'm trying to think but nothing's happening (laughs) the story i'm trying to put it together yeah, I don't. It didn't quite add up. But what, in terms of the gameplay, what did you think? Like I said, it's an action platformer. So, well, that's not entirely true. There are a couple different sections. Like the very big first section, you're like driving a car. Yeah, it's kind of like a bullet hell kind of section. Yeah, see, that's what I was going to talk about first. Literally, um, I can't remember how, how many scenes there were, but there was a few scenes, and then all of a sudden, I'm in this car, and I'm like, oh, okay, so this is the game. So you're just driving around. First of all, what you had to dodge the uh, obstacles and then hit the other cars that was not the case i was like okay so we don't do that um halfway in i suddenly realized you, you can actually shoot um from your <laughs> car and i was like okay yeah. so you can shoot the cars now okay uh done that little sequence and then the main menu popped up i was like oh so what was that scene just now i'm so confused yeah i did not make it this far but apparently there's another driving stage later in the game level 10 or whatever yeah i did get a <laughs> and there are also a couple of like shooting stages and i think i got to the first one of those um which is like level four where like it's kind of like i don't kind of like wild guns or whatever like we played before you know mm, yeah i mean i like the platforming um yeah <laughs> i mean it's quite a switch i was like okay so because like i said i thought that the the car type game was game and it, it's, it's not. mostly platforming so it's kind of weird to have that driving sequence at the beginning <laughs> yeah it really was it was like caught me off guard completely when it was uh, dropped down it's like oh uh oh we're doing a platform oh, oh okay okay yeah. <laughs> and i thought at some point it might switch and apparently it does but not anytime soon but yeah. i i thought the platforming was pretty decent and like the combat was okay like you have three weapons you have the sword the gun and the i guess they're like grenades bombs yeah <laughs> what are they or, like what were you what did you call them Oh, grenades. <laughs> grenades, yeah. It's some sort of... Or Antsway, Grenades. <laughs> <laughs> some sort of grenade-like device. Um, and I don't know. What did you lean towards? Um, well, first of all, I didn't know I had other weapons. I, oh, I, you I, just I, sorted up the whole I, time? I, I sorted it near enough the whole time. Then I saw other <laughs> sort of like guns. I think it was like up to like first boss. I'm not quite sure. I think it was... I got to the first boss, and I was like, like, there must be other, there must be other, like, weapons or something. Then I used the select button, and I managed to switch, so uh-huh. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm dirty select believe. button. Yeah. yeah. And then um, I realized there's, like, uh, as you said, like, a gun, and also uh, grenades, or grenades, as I call them. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there's, do you know what? I really enjoyed the, most of it, really, to be honest. Yeah. In my opinion. I really did enjoy it. It's not bad. I think it's for, you know, again, for the era. I wouldn't, you know, if you're looking for an action platformer, don't play this. Play something <laughs> more recent. But, like, I don't know. It's really not that bad. Um, yeah, it was kind of enjoyable. Until I tell you, uh, how far did you get first with it? How far did you get? I wish I actually, you know, to answer this question, I meant to bring my Switch in here, but I didn't. I want to say I got to around stage four. Like, I actually did got pretty wow. far. Well, you did better than me. I think I got to the second <laughs> second boss. Yeah, I got past the second boss for sure. Did you do I want to say I beat a few bosses. Save states. Lots of save oh, states. <laughs> see, I, I did rewind, but it was just impossible. Literally, I, I did the save states and all that, but every time I would get hit and just die. To be honest, um, considering I died and all that, I thought the health was very generous. You had so much health with it as well. Um, I thought anyway. But that, that second boss, oh my god. No matter what I did, I just couldn't do anything. It's like, uh, um, I mean, spoilers for how this game is, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this whole thing's spoilers. We already agreed. <laughs> the the second boss is like two it has two pillars. He breathes fire, but in a way, like it's was it forward, diagonal, up, and then maybe backwards. I think I'm not quite sure the directions. But you have to dodge that. But being on the pillar because they can it can aim for you forward as well. It's just it's just like oh my god, this is so annoying. And I tried using the save states, but it, even that didn't um save me i'm like you know what i'm just gonna take the l i'll take the l (laughs) i think i i had a hard time with that one at first but then i figured it out and i think i just got the pattern right and also just save states you know i just kind of save scummed my way through this whole game hey we've learned on this this mini mini cast i'm gonna call it this mini cast of wrong 
we've learned that there's no shame in save states or the rewind feature. We're gonna, you need it. We need it with this. Yeah, these games were not meant for you to beat them in 30 minutes no. <laughs> with no experience. I actually thought um, I was going to beat you in 30 minutes because it was getting so easy. I was like, oh, this is so good, but enjoyable. So, But then it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's pretty decent, you know, like having gone through the first three or four stages of it, I, I did enjoy it. And, um, you know, especially with save states, I think the gun is the best weapon. To, you know, it really does depend on the situation. Um, you, you can run out of bullets and, and then the, the grenades are useful in certain situations. But yeah, it feels like a pretty fair game for the era. I don't yeah. know if that makes sense. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, it's something, a game that's quite enjoyable. I think um, what you said, you know, you understood the patterns with that boss and then you was able to progress more. So exactly. I, I, I think it's just one of these things where you just have to keep playing the game to know the patterns and then you'll be yep. fine. But I said the first bit of it, I quite enjoyed the car bit. I quite enjoyed the platforming bit. It was really good. Um and just lights it looked like a lightsaber it had just lightsaber and people up <laughs> it was so funny um but yeah no um i didn't spend the whole half half hour 30 minutes on it i just spent like probably it was 16 minutes because like I, I was rewinding completely you guys could check the video <laughs> and i just couldn't get anywhere with it. i kept dying every time he hit me just dead so i was like do you know what because I, I tried to do i tried to do a save state after i hit the boss but yeah. I kept getting hit. I was too low health, and I was like, "No, nah, I'm gonna just take the L. I'm just gonna get not getting yeah, anything." You can that. you can get yourself in dangerous situations with the save state if you like get one where you have really low health and you have to get like a perfect run. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, let's move on then, unless there's anything else on Vice Project Doom. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't play enough of it. So I didn't play enough of it. Uh, the other one's a very major video game, Donkey Kong Country. The uh, 1994 Rare game kind of broke open graphics on the Super Nintendo. It's like such an amazing looking game at the time. I remember being blown away by it as a kid. I played this through this one as a kid. Um, I played a, I think I touched it a little bit on the NSO before we started this project, but I fired it back up for this and gave it a nice, you know, run for its money. I think I would beat the first maybe world and a half I don't know. Like I definitely got through the first part and then I don't know. How far did you get in your playthrough of this? Uh, what part did I actually get? Oh, I got to the mine cart. Oh, <laughs> the, the dreaded cursed mine cart level. I've had, I've heard so much stuff about that level. Apparently it's really bad, like rage inducing level. I'm not quite sure if that's the case, but I've heard stuff about that level. Yeah. So, um, I saw how far I got. <laughs> I love the mine cart levels. I do think the balancing of them in the early game is tough. Like there are some parts where it's just frustrating and you just have to kind of another great rewind feature place. But if you, if you, or, or, or save state place, but if you get your save state at the wrong spot, (laughs) you're kind of screwed, but you just kind of have to learn it and, and go through it. But I love the feel of it. I think. Yeah. I I mean, the rust of my platforming came into play the first, (laughs) the first, because I played this last year, but it wasn't, I said 10 minutes, it must have been like less than that. Because when I went to do like the second level, I was like, I don't remember playing this bit. I remember the first level. <laughs> you played the first the fir- level, yeah. The first level I did absolutely shocking. I just, I thought, oh, maybe this is a secret down here. Not, it's just instant death. I was like, oh, okay. That wasn't the secret. <laughs> I did so terrible. But then I started getting a rhythm going. I was like, okay, I'm getting my platforming skills back up again. So I hit the Minecraft level and I just... I say mine, I keep saying Minecraft level, Minecart level. Right. And then I, just, right. I couldn't progress anymore. And I tried to do it legitly because by that point I had 12 lives. Think of it, 12 lives down to zero on just one level. <laughs> well, I believe it. That it is, the Minecart is really tricky. I, it's maybe the hardest part about this game is some of the Minecart levels, but they're great. They're fun. Mm-hmm. And I love, I love the animals in these games. I love riding on Stampy the Rhinosaur. Uh, rhinoceros i mean and the like the fish i can't think of all the the characters i need to like remind myself their names like the i'm gonna call him Poonie. frog and <laughs> <laughs> for like harpoon poony the fish <laughs> um it's just fun when you get those little bonus did you get to any of those where you get to do a bonus level as one of the animals oh, there's one i got so confused i not I, I, the ostrich one i did but there was another bonus stage in there i uh, I tried to do a donkey on these. There were gold animals, 
And I don't mm-hmm. know what happened. Literally, I just got into that stage, jumped up, fall back down, and I guess I failed because he was shaking his head. I was like, okay. So I thought it was like a time <laughs> trial because usually when you do, well, usually when you go both stages, it's a time trial. I had no idea what I was doing. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, uh, but yeah, the ostrich one where it was just like ostrich like trophies yep. or you had gold mm-hmm. statues you had to collect, and I had no idea what I was supposed to do, what the end goal was. So, I think it's just you get a bunch of them and you get some extra lives, you know what I mean? Every hundred you get is an extra life or whatever. Um, oh, okay. Is, I, I believe. Man, there's just so many cool mechanics in this game. And I know like it's old games, so they weren't perfected at the time, but they kind of get perfected in some of the later Donkey Kong games. So it's just cool to see the first one with, even though it's, you know, as you said, kind of rage inducing the minecart level or the barrels, like where you're launching the timing of yourself from a barrel to another barrel. Mm. just great stuff in this game great game this is one of the games especially if you never play i mean we already talked about donkey kong country 2 on this podcast so it's kind of like a lot of the same stuff applies here you know Um, i I definitely preferred the second one and you should listen to it as well because i did i do out of both these i did prefer diddy kong's quest um but i still had fun with this one i said uh, i was a bit rusty when i first started but then enjoyed it all the way to the minecart level and i'm like (laughs) yeah no i'm not having fun anymore to be honest (laughs) yeah it's they're very similar games i think um maybe things are just a little bit tighter in the second one i've never Mm. played the third one so maybe we'll get that one though i'd also find if we get a break from donkey kong (laughs) games from this we've played a handful of them yeah how many weeks has it been i can't remember is it like we've had weeks we've had donkey kong jr for the nes donkey kong country 2 and donkey kong country og now so three different donkey kong weeks um yeah yeah i know i feel like we just did (laughs) we're gonna get the donkey kong curse or something (laughs) Which I don't mind as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything else on... I mean, like I said, we talked about Donkey Kong Country 2. A lot of it applies. I think that these are classic games that are worth your time if you have any interest in them, you know, or if you want... Obviously, like I said, on the last one too, the best Donkey Kong Country game, in my opinion, is Tropical Freeze. But if you want to go back and experience that or just try out a little bit of what it's like, these are great games to go play through. As I said, the only thing to add to both these games, as I said at the beginning, it's like kind of it was kind of like a fifty fifty sort of thing. I said mm. there's some parts I enjoyed for both of these games, and then it's like you get to that hard point, and like right now I'm not enjoying this game now. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, it's, I would say like about average. It's kind of like if you were a kind of average sort of playing game. I'm not saying by like making them average, they're not good or anything. I'm just saying like right. if you want a bit of, you know, just just a cool playthrough. <laughs> If you want some frustration sprinkled in with your fun, that, yeah, <laughs> I feel perfect. I think that's true of all these games, though, right? Because they're just <laughs> these old games are just more frustrating. They don't have the quality of life, and and they they have the accelerated difficulty. Um, I feel like, yeah, <laughs> the theme of this is we're playing these so you don't have to. Yeah, <laughs> but, pretty much, but some, this is what we're doing. <laughs> but some of them are worth your time. Uh, but uh, so if you're gonna rec- it's yeah, these are kind of hard to recommend 100. percent But also both of these are like, man, if you're looking for games, if you're looking for ac- platforming or action platforming games on the NSO service, these aren't bad options. It's it's just they're just there. <laughs> you want to check them out? <laughs> yeah. So I guess like a medium recommendation, not a soft yeah. or hard recommendation. Right. Just the- right. Medium. I feel like Donkey Kong Country is just such a important game in terms of history, but it's kind of harder to see it now. <laughs> now, now yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, but I love it still. So I don't know. Uh, I agree with you. Sort of medium recommendations on these. I wouldn't, you know, like you'll probably have an okay time. <laughs> <laughs> okay time, yeah. Just an okay, <laughs> just an okay time. Well, and anything else before we pick our next game? I can't think of anything. I think we're ready to go for the next victims. All right. <laughs> the next victims. I think we're the victims. Um, yeah, I was going to say the more like of those soul shattering games. <laughs> <laughs> I think if it's uh, if it's between all the Halos on Legendary um, and these <laughs> games, I'd go for Halo and Legendary. <laughs> I think that's the only thing I'd say. <laughs> all right i've got our spreadsheet up can you give us the five second countdown okay here we go five four three two one play it wrong here we go all right 
Oh boy. Okay. NES game is Balloon Fight. Oh, yeah. That's a classic game. I think I've heard you say it on the show multiple times as well. Yeah, it's not uh, you in particular, um, just you guys. <laughs> on the, show. the Ignition Factor is our SNES game. The Ignition Factor for the Super Nintendo. Ah, uh, this looks bad. Okay. <laughs> oh no. This was one of the more recent additions. Like they added it, maybe. Well, just within the last, you know, six months to a year, not one of the first ones that came out. It's like a firefighting game. And it just I have never played it or heard much about it. The UI just looks bad. It just looks bad. Look it up real quick. OK, what's it called again? The Ignition Factor. I don't know. Maybe it'll be fun. Who knows? Oh, (laughs) right. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, Japanese fighting game. Wait, what? It's no, it's. (laughs) <laughs> I think you might be looking at the wrong one. Um, oh yeah, Jap- uh, yeah, it's known in Jap- Japan as firefighting. Yes, yes, there you go. Okay. Um, I guess it's like your in houses fighting fires and that kind of thing. We'll see. <laughs> Doesn't look great, uh, but maybe we'll be, maybe we'll be surprised. I don't know. I've just seen something on here. It says, "Don't fall into molten iron." Yeah, that'd be bad. <laughs> oh no, so, the bridge has collapsed. <laughs> Balloon Fight is a pretty classic game, but I don't know how well that holds up. Uh, and then the Ignition Factor. I don't know. And, I don't I've got know. another one here. Sorry, I've got to read this one out. This is this is so funny. Urgent message. You're on fire again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love oh, this. Oh boy. <laughs> Well, uh, thanks everybody for listening to this one (laughs) about Vice Project Doom and Donkey Kong Country. But next week, we'll be back to discuss Balloon Fight and the Ignition Factor. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for listening to Playing It Wrong. This podcast is a collaboration between Super Switch Heads and Ant Keeps Gaming. Check out the weekly Super Switch Heads podcast and also check out Ant Keeps Gaming on YouTube. Our music is provided by Bent Neatly. Thanks again. Bye.